Hello everybody, welcome back. All right, so we have some NFT wars going on in the marketplace. Blur, OpenSea, damn. So Blur surpassed OpenSea in daily NFT trading volume Wednesday, Nansen shows. But I'd like to point out another project, uh, platform, Cardano, JPG store. They offer full royalties from day one, no issues, no problems. OpenSea and Blur, they're having a bit of a war right now. But that's because uh, OpenSea is like, the first kind of marketplace to market. So it's gonna have the advantage. But with Blur, they're offering some pretty cool stuff that OpenSea is not. So on Wednesday, February 15th, non-fungible token marketplace Blur overtook OpenSea in daily Ethereum trading volume for the first time. The trading volume on Blur's marketplace stood at 6,600 Wednesday, while OpenSea's trading volume stood at 5,600. Blur's surge in daily trading volume also followed a blog post from Blur recommending creators block NFT listings on OpenSea yep, as a means of collecting full royalties on Blur's zero-fee marketplace. So they just have a bit more to offer than OpenSea, right? OpenSea is just like first mover advantage. People from day one from years ago connected their wallet, so they have more wallets attached than anything else, than anyone else in the industry, right? But currently conflicting rules bar artists from simultaneously earning royalties on OpenSea and Blur. So Blur is like coming out and saying, stop using OpenSea pretty much because they're crap, right? And if you want the biggest bang for your buck, come on over to Blur. And they're doing a pretty good job of it, if you ask me. So OpenSea's trading volume per week has always been several times higher than Blur's trading volume. In the most recent week, OpenSea's weekly volume stood at 36,600 ETH, while Blur's weekly volume sat at 11,424 ETH per Nansen. But hey, I don't think that's too far apart. It's far apart, but man, for first mover advantage and something like Blur to come onto the market and they're already cutting into it that big, that says a lot, right? Another important metric to note is the number of sales and wallets on OpenSea is still greater than on Blur. Yeah, just because they have first mover advantage. From February 7th to February 14th, the number of sales on OpenSea was an average of 8.37 times larger than the number of sales on Blur, while the number of wallets on OpenSea was roughly 8 times greater than the number of wallets on Blur. The gap between OpenSea and Blur in terms of number of sales and wallets has, be has been closing, as was at its smallest as of Wednesday, <laughs> sorry. That day, the number of sales at OpenSea stood at 19,900, 1.63 times greater than the Blur's total number of sales, 12,185. 12, when looking at the number of wallets active on the two marketplaces, and what the hell? An anal, analog, oh my goodness. And analogous, I can't pronounce that word, people. Analogous trend arises. The number of wallets interacting with OpenSea is now only twice as great as those interacting with Blur, showing how the race between the first and second largest marketplaces is tightening. Yeah, what the hell is that word? Let me read that again. When looking at the number of wallets active on the two marketplaces, and anal, anal, oh my god, anal, I can't even say that word, people. Not today. <laughs> but uh, let me point you to a store here jpg does store this is on cardano right these are cardano projects right here there you go they have a lot going on you can explore all collections and they have full royalties here people and cardano is just a beautiful chain to work with everything's smooth everything's sick the community is great and the projects are just amazing clay nation the ape society pavia is a metaverse space buds yeah these are some pretty cool projects. Pitches at Clay Nation, awesome stuff. Cabin, oh, Cornucopius, oh, check them out for sure. So these are all on Cardano, people. Cardano is not a ghost chain. They have so much going on. Look at these zombies here. Sick, right? Sickness, look at that. Beautiful artwork. The Mallard Order. Yeah, I'm kind of addicted to Cardano for a couple years now. I just love Cardano, the way they do things, they get things done right. So there's an NFT war happening right now. I hope you guys can check out Cardano. They have a lot going on. They have metaverses. They have NFT platforms. They have so much going on. They have DeFi. Uh, if you want to get involved with Cardano DeFi, check out MinSwap. That's a pretty good DEX. Check it out. But uh, enjoy the NFT wars, people. Choose wisely. This is the Crypto Realm. Play hard, trade smart. Thank you.